Mr. Mixer, GarageBand Guru. I want to share with you some secrets of using Smart Guitar. So before you open up your Smart Guitar on GarageBand for iPad 2, be sure and take off the multitasking gestures in your settings general and then scroll down to multitasking gestures. Turn that off. So now open up your GarageBand program and before we start this, I'll turn on my little mini amp to share with you my last video. And one thing I want to teach you is about using hard rock guitar. A couple of things. So basically, you, we know that the chords here correspond to these bars that you want to play. Touching the D here, you can turn it off here. So you can turn off here at the left side. So some of these basic things are already known, but there's some secrets too that are interesting that you can use to play much more complicated chords and even picking. Of course, you're doing it with a smart guitar, so there's not much effort involved. So when we turn the auto play on, Remember that we have all these different chords again, but it will play according to a sequence of notes here, depending on which autoplay you press. And you can also do this while you're recording. Change. stop it up here. One thing that's not documented or you cannot find in any videos that I've seen on the internet yet anyway is that you have not just the four combinations of autoplay but you actually technically have 12. How do you do that? Well once you play one of these notes with one finger it sounds different than if you were to use three fingers. Or two fingers. Versus just the one. Once again, one finger, two, and three. Now it'll keep that three finger sequence no matter whether you press any of these autoplays. So now you're on autoplay four with the three finger touch. Auto play four with a two finger touch. Hear the difference? Turn it off for a second. Another thing you can do with this type of maneuver and touching sequences is to draw your fingers away from the chord area and it still will work. Unfortunately it won't work if you press again, only if you lit up. So if you were to slide your fingers over for convenience then you can depress the area and even other areas and it will still work. Let me demonstrate that. So on a D chord we're gonna put three fingers and leave the fingers pressed, move it over to some other part of the screen and we can depress with the fingers and you'll see the change go from the third variation to the second, to the first. Now it won't let me press again because it will actually activate the C chord underneath my fingers. But if I do slide over here I can put the three in again. Two. That's pretty interesting tricks. So you can do a lot more interesting things now that you have those 12 varieties here for the autoplay using the multi-touch of your fingers in this different areas here. 
So I have some many, many other secrets to share with you and you can check out my other videos.